Hey guys, it's Haley. Um, so this is discussion about Ed O'Bannon versus the NCAA. Um, so I didn't really, I mean, I knew about the whole collegiate not getting paid and deal, but I was never really in sports, so it wasn't a big deal to me. But um, reading about it, it's actually really interesting. So um, Ed O'Bannon was on the UCLA team of 1995, and he actually filed this um, suit in 2006, and it's still going on, so that was really interesting to me, um, almost 11 years later, but, um, and so he sued for, or he filed for, his pictures were being used in, um, an EA Sports game, and it wasn't technically his name, it was just a, a character that looked like him, same skin tone, same number, same left, um, dominant hand shooting, um, and things like that, and so obviously, you know, it's probably him. And so he got, you know, he wanted to be compensated for that, which makes sense. Um, the, they, they were saying that they wanted to be compensated after graduation as well as in school, and I agree with that. Um, the NCAA claims that it's an amateurism competition, so you shouldn't get paid if you're an amateur. You should get paid if you're a professional. And so if you're in college, you're an amateur under their standards, so you shouldn't get paid. But the NCAA is making a ton of money off of their name, their number, their skills, everything. So in my opinion, I am on the Ed O'Bannon side where you should get paid for what you contribute to in the NCAA making that money. So if your jerseys are selling, your faces on a poster, your um, your autographs, your if you're in advertising, your number, like you should get compensated for that because the NCAA is getting that cash. They're getting all of it. Um, you should get a portion of it because you're the reason they're getting that money. Um, and a lot of the, uh, not a lot, but some players don't even get scholarships, so they don't get any compensation at all. And playing in those sports, that's your full-time job. You don't have time to work for a, a tire company. You don't have time to do a part-time job while you're in college and you need a way to have funds. So I think that they should be compensated. I mean, I don't know if you want to call it minimum wage, but they should get some, like a stipend. They should get like maybe 20000 a year or a little less. I mean, they just need some money because they don't have any other way of making money because sports, basketball, football, that is their full-time job. That's what they're there to do and work at. Um, I found an article from the Business Insider. Um, the NCAA is on track to make $1.1 billion in to about in, a, in around 2025 just for the NC, um, NCAA men's basketball tournament. Just the tournament. That's not um, advertising. That's nothing else but the tournament. Um, and so, like, that's a lot. Um, and I think that they should be able to pay their players for what they're getting, um, what the NCAA is getting because of the players. Um, but if they were to pay the the portions to their to those players that would mean that they have to pay every single sport not just basketball it would be football and it would be baseball including like even gymnastics or softball but I mean you know we don't you know they don't really sell a lot of software softball jerseys or gymnastics names um but yeah so that wouldn't be a really big thing but I mean like football and basketball that would be That'd be a lot, not a lot, but I mean, it'd be a, a sum of money that they'd be losing. So I guess that's maybe why they don't want to do it. I really don't know, but that's kind of my um, opinion on that. But um, but like on DraftKings or FanDuel, it's for NFL players and basketball players. Isn't that not the same for March Madness in college? Um, if I'm wrong on that, like let me know. But I mean, I feel like that's kind of the same. Like. I don't know. I think you should be compensated for anything that you're on, uh, video games especially. Like that's you. That's your number. Like you should get paid for that. But um, yeah. So that's um, that's it. Thanks.